All right, guys, welcome back to South Branch Valley Outdoors. It's been a while since we had any put any videos up. So I don't know. We're gonna we got our uh, scope in today for our long range build we've been working on. We're sorry we ain't had nothing put back put up for a while, but we've been working on different things and stuff here and there, trying to get stuff going. But we got our scope in the SWFA twenty by forty two. I'm kind of doing an unboxing here as you can see I've done kind of cut it open I've done had it open looking at it, make sure everything's in there but but this is the way it comes in I mean it had uh, that foam pieces on top here I forget exactly what you call them of course it comes in this white box this plain old white box got a sticker here tells you what it is that's what it comes in this plain old white box and of course I ordered the uh, the SWFA uh, 30 mil scope rings also I got the medium height ones called the SS TAC I done took them out and have put them on the scope for now it comes, it comes with a, a little catalog with all the different products they sell and pretty much in your box you get the allen wrench for your scope for your turrets to uh, reset it to zero the scope rings they come in like I said in this little box they come also with a torx wrench for your the screws to you know place it on your scope and everything tighten it up but then this is basically how it comes in the box wrapped up I mean it comes packaged pretty well I, they had some other packs in here and I took it out this right here is basically what you get right here. This is the 20 power, 20 by 42. As you can see, I done had placed my the scope rings on there. Again, they're the 30 mil, millimeter ones with because this scope has the 30 millimeter tube, and they're the medium height. This is an MOA scope. With an MOA reticle, so my turrets and my reticle match up, which is what you want. Whether it's mill or MOA, you want your reticle to match your turrets. And something different with these scopes is the your parallax adjustment's actually back here, where normally you adjust your power setting. But of course, this is a fixed power scope, so they've moved it back here on these they're uh, I think they're newer models or their HD models I actually have it on the side yeah it's their, not their newer models just I mean this is a new scope but their HD models have, I think have it on the side and they also make them in these in the fixed power in 6 10 12 16 and 20 I believe and they've also got a I think it's a 3 to 15 power and a 5 to 20 power I believe in the SS models but uh, I kind of like this parallax adjustment back here like I said it ain't even mounted on the gun yet as you can tell but I kind of I think I'm going to like that it it goes from 10 yards to infinity I had it outside earlier today playing with it a little bit but it's got a good clear scope glass on it scope <laughs> good clear glass on it it's got your adjustment back here to focus it in on with your eyes it comes with a it's already mounted with a little I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not but kind of a sunshade already built in a little one I'd say probably inch and a half or so inch and three quarter sunshade and you can purchase a longer sunshade from them if you'd like but straight out of the box I mean it's definitely heavy duty built definitely heavy duty built scope but I'll try to give you a little how the turrets sound. I mean, they, they're, they're very good and uh, tactile and loud. I mean, they got good sound to them. I don't know if you can hear that, but, but they're good. 
I mean, they're kind of stiff, but me personally, I'd rather them be stiff than just all floppy and loose. I mean, they're, they're good. And, I mean, you know, you've got to turn it. It ain't just going to bump it and turn. And the windage is the same way. It ain't quite as l loud, but, but I mean, it's, it's definitely good. But we just want to kind of give you a little unboxing here of this and let you know what it's about. Once we get it on the gun, we'll you know run it through its paces and update you on that. But so far, right out of the box, I really like it. I mean, like I said, it's definitely it's definitely a heavy heavy duty built scope. There's no doubt about that. The glass on it, just looking out outside with it, the glass is it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not. I'm sure it's not your. Glass it's in a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar, three thousand dollar scope, which I've never owned one or looked through any scopes that cost that much. Come truthfully, this is the most expensive scope I've ever bought. But I mean the glass seems to be pretty good in it to me. I mean it's just as good as any scope I've ever looked through, but like I said I've never looked through the real expensive ones. But uh and the rings they them rings they're pretty beefy built. I don't know if it'll show up in the video here or not. I'm just videoing off my phone right now. But they're pretty beefy built. And I mean, as you can see, they're the six. They've got three holes on each side, so six holes total. They help keep that thing that locked down. And so once you get that thing locked down with those six holes, it ain't, ain't going to go nowhere. Another thing I like is the, on the rings is the uh, your knobs here. Most knobs, you loosen them all the way up they'll come clear off these won't I mean they're gonna they're on there you're not gonna try to fool with it and drop it on the floor and or out in the range and have to take your scope off some bank somewhere or something and lose it so I, I really do like that that it stays on there like I said these are heavy duty thing uh, rings so uh, y'all just stick with us and uh, hopefully we get out to the range this weekend hope to get this scope mounted and leveled up tomorrow get out to the range this weekend and get this Scope tuned in and try her out there maybe 400 yards this weekend and see how she does. So stick with us and we'll let you know. Thanks for watching.